According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow, let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's gel. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day, graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Already growing a mustache? It looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everyone knows sting someone you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating amu an amusement park into our day. This is why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B-men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive City graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies. And begins your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco. And a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your entire life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. <clears throat> A sore throat. Hang on. Give me a second. Okay. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve any aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does that do? It gets that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. it saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? Ha <laughs> we'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well down here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. <sighs> I hate myself so much. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. 
He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. You're a bee. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up to it. Maybe I am. You are You are not! We're going 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? It might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honex! Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. <sighs> do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm and it's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thor thorax. Shave my antennae. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Hey, people are joining. Hello. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, sl uh, stunt bee, pouring stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What did you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open? Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Wax Monkey's always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A beat died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Deadly. Deadlified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stumpy, poorer, stir, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler, Barry, what do you think I should... Barry? Uh, Diane B. I'm reading the B movie script. Uh, do you think I should... Barry? Barry! Alright, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't the kid we saw yesterday? <sighs> this physically hurts. This hurts to do. Pay attention to your fans. Yeah, I know, but I'm reading a script. I have a job to do. I would, t I, I should be talking, but I have a job to do. <clears throat> Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful, and as always, watch your brooms. Honey sticks, dogs, birds, beers, and... Beers? Bears and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies... Bee law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans! Alright, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind, check. Antennae, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suck stem suckers. Hang on. I can't stop. I made a promise. I have to read this. I have to read it all. Uh, 
that's fine. I have to... It's for the meme. I will lose fans as long as it's for the meme. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over here, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Oops, that visual. No, sorry, copy that visual. For some reason, all the uh, C's in this script are O's. It's weird. Wait, one of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good, not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys, it's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way out of... You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think those are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. Okay, hang on. I'm going to put on some music. Uh. Oh, wait. No, I'm going to post this to YouTube and I'll get fucking copyright striked if I use music. So never mind, I can't have any salvation. Hi, B. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze! He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Don't fly. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Uh, there's a notification in the way. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday, B going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Oh, my hair looks terrible. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This drapes! This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all of my special skills. Even my top ten favorite moves. What's number one? Star Wars? Oh, top ten favorite movies. It's got all of my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. I don't know what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure! There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You could put... Uh, I don't know what that says. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I gotta... Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? Uh, no, that's no good. Here. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. You like jazz? I'm so sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking! I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you... 
I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah. I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Same. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't know. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really. My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. I'm in Sheep Meadow. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you... Can I take a piece of this with me? My cat is here. She's very concerned as to why the fuck I'm reading this. Anyway, yeah, let's keep going. Sorry, now I have to neglect you. Sure, here, have a crumb. Thanks, yeah. All right, well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. Um, and thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Oh, God. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans! I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat cr crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they, like, try and kill you, like on TV? Well, some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, poodle? I don't... what? You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience, now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well... Well? Well, I met someone. You did? Was she bee-ish? A wa... usp... Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Uh, well, I know it's... Uh, spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I just can't get by that's face. So who is she? She's... Human. No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. One eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripey. It's not what, that's not what they eat. They, that's what falls off what they eat. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? No, it's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us, and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There is no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B? 
How much longer will this go on? It's been three days! Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life! You have no job! You're barely a bee! <sighs> Thank you, Courtney Je Jean. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I, th I know it's great. It's hellish for me. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that is every florist's dream. Upon a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. Oh. Sorry. G Courtney Jean. Gotcha. I will keep that in mind. I'm... I'm more focused on this. Ah. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. Alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly anywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run anywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. Alright, your turn. TiVo. You can just freeze live TV? That's insane. Y you don't have that? We have HeVo, but it's a disease. A horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper. Very carefully, you kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, or throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What it? What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How'd you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy-five is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I, I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Cute bee, golden blossom, Ray Liotta private select. Is, is, that, is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There he there's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. The puns. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. We're approaching the halfway mark. If you've got questions, I'm going to consider this halftime or intermission, so voice them now. If nobody's got questions, I can just go right back to reading. <laughs> I just need to rest my throat a little. No? Nothing? Okay. Oh, why am I reading this? Uh... Because I have nothing better to do. Pretty sure that's a valid enough, uh... Explanation. I've got nothing better to do. And, um... I, it's a dumb meme. It's a dead meme. I, honestly, I don't. I don't know. I don't know myself why I'm reading this. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. But I'm doing it. Any el Anything else? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I hate me. Okay. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I know I, know I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana. Ignacio! Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where! Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? Their faces. They never know what hit him. 
And now, they are on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? Excuse me. Oh, God. Where are you headed? To Ani Farms. I am onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff, blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just as a row of honey jars, as far as I, the eye can see. Wow! I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. Nala, why do you keep coming back? You make me want to stop talking and pet you. Give me like five seconds to pet my cat. Okay, cat is pet. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us, they just smack. See a mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up and get with a moth. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. M moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it. It's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. There are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine, all the tar. Why did you capture a moment? Oh, Lord. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey and we make the money? Oh, my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. <laughs> That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than invited fans. Holy shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is worth this than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. <sighs> Who told them humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. There's a, these are obviously decorated photos. Oh, sorry, no. Doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend, and they make out. Make out. Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, is this what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face! The eye! That would hurt. No. Up the nose? That's a killer. There's only one place where you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Hive at five. The only the hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger. Sports with Boz Larvae. And J Jeanette o Chung. Good evening. I'm Bob Bundle. And I'm Jeanette Chung. A tri-country bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for ste- Can you even sue an entire species? Intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting it from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we'll have three formal que former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna- Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid. Oh, fuck. To change the world. What about Bee Columbus? Bee Gandhi. 
I don't want to read that. I don't even want to read this next part just because of how terrible it is. But uh, what about B. Columbus, B. Gandhi, Beezus? Where I'm from, we'd never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? Uh, the bee community is supporting you in this case. This which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. Also, thank you, Courtney Jean. Uh, if you want, I can provide you to the link to the reading I did of Shark Boy and Lava Girl earlier today. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Bear week, next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very... I think that says Jewish. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you would tell... Okay, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll, show, I'll give it to you uh, at the end of the stream, because I can't, like, I can't just stop and get the link now. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. <sighs> but it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Oh, hey, thanks. That's the link, yeah. You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here he has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're three and artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those faint th fake things. Blech. Nothing's worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. Wow. Ugh. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have, we, what have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know, I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, case number 4475, Supreme Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry. Oh, he's not suing humans, he's suing the honey industry. Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in, in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world? I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. G Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee! How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wiz wizardry? Seriously? That is not a valid legal argument. <sighs> they could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. That, that's even less of a valid legal argument. For all we know, he could be on steroids. <laughs> he could be what? Well, how does that contribute to anything? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us, because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see that by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish you'd dress like that all the time. So nice. <sighs> Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. 
I see you also own Honey Burton and Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't dis imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No. No. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a... Jar of honey. Who... Okay, that's a va that is a valid point. Who the fuck thinks that? They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, Build-A-Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How'd you like his head crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, spilling out your throw pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thanks you for... Uh, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer, have, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And yet we... And yet here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. We have police too, Barry. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Summer? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota, first, belated co congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome, with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. But is, it, but is this what it's come to for you? It's exploiting tiny, helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. Oh, fuck. We're more than halfway done. We're more than halfway done. Huh. <sighs> this isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in the court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it. Mr. Leota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side and we're doing everything right legally. I'm a florist. Right, well, here's to a great turn team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. <sighs> I didn't want this, all this to go away, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. <sighs> There's a little left. I could heal it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. <sighs> uh, I, so I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. But the ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We all have that in... Fuck. I switched the window by accident. Oh, there we go. We all have that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, let Barry borrow your razor. I let Barry borrow your razor for the fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it. Oh, fuck. With your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Waterbug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? See, there's these moments where the script just gets so hectic that I can barely fucking keep up anymore. Like, because I don't remember what's happening in the movie. I'm just repeating whatever ridiculous shit is coming out of the script, and it's so weird. But yeah, this is f fucking crazy, and I don't know why I'm doing it. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. Ugh, oh, fuck. I just can't get comfortable. I can't get comfortable right now. Fuck. Huh. <sighs> Can I, like, move this a little closer? I'm gonna move my mic a little closer to me so I can lean back. Ah, perfect. I think that's significantly better. Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? 
oh, counting the amount of times I cuss while reading, I can uh, do I can do it more if you feel like it. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine, talking bees. No yogurt night. <laughs> oh, fuck. My nerves are... Oh, count that. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm so sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. Oh, fuck my mic. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can see we can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, you've got to weave some magic. With this jury, all, or it's all, uh, sorry. Leighton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's all going to be over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only the losing, son. Only the losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll, I'll ask you what I think it, we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little... Bed bug? Oh, God. How do you even... God. Fuck. I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Oh, fuck, my mic is all turned. Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents? Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins. Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order. Order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. Uh, I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. A winged... I would not refer to a bee as a winged beast of destruction. I'm sorry, I just have to attempt to uh, get this not to fucking turn anymore. Really? Are you kidding me? I hate this. I hate this mic. I hate myself. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's not going to turn anymore. The venom! The venom is coursing through my veins! Oh, fuck. I accidentally skipped back. I'm dumb. I really just want death. You know what would be better than counting how many times I swear? How many times did I... Uh, vocally... I don't know. I can't speak anymore. How many times I voice how suicidal I am? No, fuck, I skipped upwards. Fuck, I'm dumb. Okay, got it. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. How do I... I can't get this mic to stand right, because I have to hold on to it if it's like this. You can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Sting stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my... I refuse to read that. What the fuck? Okay. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? That's, that's an actual line. That is a line in the B movie. To suck the poison from my heaving buttocks. <sighs> okay, I will have order in this court. Order, order please. 
The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I... I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're alive. Uh, yeah, they have. B-movie memes truly ruined everything. Yeah, they have uh, Phil Lester's cheese dress. They really have. And yet I'm sitting here, perpetuating these B-movie memes. I'm, I'm, I hate myself. I hate everything about myself. I'm running out of water. Okay, back to it. It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Same. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all... all adrenaline. And then... and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What would the humans do to, this, do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Mike almost fell there. Okay. Oh, that's a nice emoji. Uh, I, I, I return it, but I'm holding my mic with one hand. Hang on. There, perfect. Beautiful. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees... Yeet! Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke! But some bees are smoking. I don't even know what's going on anymore. That's it! That's our case! Is it? It's not over. It's not over? Get dressed. I've gotta go somewhere. Go back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. I'm assuming you've done step correctly. You're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin. Mm. Yes? Yes, Your Honor. Where's the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about... Your Honor, why haven't these ridiculous bugs taken enough, enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? Oh, my arm hurts from holding the mic. Can I, like... Is there anywhere on my fucking couch I could set it down? No, nowhere? Come on. Can I, like, set it on this pillow? Will that be better than just the straight-up couch? I hope so, because I don't want to keep holding it. No, it won't. Nope. Nope. You know. Uh, hang on. Uh, I am going to... Can I set it on, like, this fucking keyboard or something? No, because my couch is on the... Keyboard? What? Oh, whatever. I would rather not drop this, like, $300 mic, thanks. Okay, can I, like... I just wanna... Stay. Stay, cunt. Stay. Fuck. Stay... Play. There we go. Okay. The case of the honeybees... Oh, I don't know the song, sorry. Oh, wait, we've been here. I don't know why it's scrolled back up. Okay. Uh, bees don't smoke. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin. Yes? Yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about, Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? <sighs> How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. 
Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Phoenix Wright banged through the doors. Uh, okay. Hold it, Your Honor! You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What, this? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has ha happened to bees who've never been asked. Smoking or non? Or no? Smoking or no? Is this what nature intended to us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong. Hashtag uh, free the bees. Get that shit trending. All eight of you. Get that shit trending. Uh, you know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy per perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as nothing more than a filthy, smelly, bad, stink, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous episodes for a few hours, and then he'll be fine. We will no longer tolerate B-negative nicknames, but it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products, and uh, la-da-da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we know? Cannonball. We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do, laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now... Now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought they thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all willing. No, sorry, no. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all of these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits. Vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole sat test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So there's no more pollination. It could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. I'm sorry, I have to stop here. First, suck poison out of my buttocks. And now they're making a suicide pact? I don't think this is a fucking kids movie anymore. I'm never going to get over uh, Suck Poison. That's my next project. That is certainly my next project. I am doing the Emoji Movie next. Maybe not right after this because, like, I my throat is in pain. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses! Vanessa! Roses? Barry? 
Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry! Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I want to help you. I'm with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Uh, actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses. The roses have their pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we got to do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination across the nation. What are we, rapping now? Huh. Tournament of Roses. Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom. FTD. Vanessa... Vanessa Bloom. Her name is a pun. The main character's names are puns. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am, nice brooch. That is how you pronounce brooch, right? Or is it brooch? I don't know. Thank you, it was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Where, what are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm going... I'm getting the marshal. You do that. The whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arising suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop! Security! I think there's some stopping you. Stop! Security! Hey, I'm a... Applause. Cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. You and your insect pack your float? Yes. Has it been in your possession this entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll get we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What did you say, Hal? Nothing. B, don't freak out. My entire species... What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit and please hurry? What happened here? There was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One, one's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No. They're both, well, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, there is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're headed into some lighting. This is Bob Bundle. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and, his in and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area, and two individuals in at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no-account compadres. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass makes no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work should be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs, but let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. I see we're bookending. We're getting close to the end, guys. More than we realize. To us. To anyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. 
Move out. Our only chance is what if I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, get it. got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute, I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know, it's strong, pulling me, like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, out the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. The, that, that's a fat guy in a flower shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. That's the only way of the only... Ah. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. I am cuckoo kachu or this plane... Am I cuckoo kachu or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. <sighs> Why moments? Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone, this runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? We're going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Follow me, then. Except keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our berry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey to with that? It's bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble, jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? When? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You gotta start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. Alright, take ten, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. We did it. We did it. Ah, lord. <sighs> Hashtag thinking B. I can't believe I got through that. I did not. There were points where I was like, I might give up. But I didn't. I persevered. And I did it. I made it.